Hey guys, so if for any reason you find it difficult to edit your image and get amazing results, then it's because you are using the wrong technique to retouch or you lack the right resources. In this video, I'll be sharing both the right technique and the best resources you can use to edit faster and get superb results. With no further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing we are going to do, we are going to analyze this image and on this image, you can see one straight hair right here. You can see some pimples and acne. To remove them, we use the spot healing brush. Make sure the size of the brush is very small. If, brush, if the size of the brush is too big, it's going to leave patches on the skin. So make sure the size of the brush is small so that I don't end up leaving patches on the skin. So a small brush size is advisable to be used. Just like that. The straight hair, you remove it. The pimples and acne, you remove them using the spot healing brush. Once you're done with that, if you look down here, you can see the color down here is different from the color of the rest of the body. I'll show you how to easily fix that. So we're going to use this action, the frequency separation action. This is 16 bit image, so we're going to use the frequency separation 16 bit. I'm going to click on play. If you don't have the frequency separation action, I wonder why you would not have the frequency separation action if you're a retoucher. Or maybe you're an absolute beginner and you don't have it, I'll show you how to get it. So just keep watching. So in the action, we are going to set the Gaussian blur radius to 8. And I'm going to press OK. Now the color correction layer, we are going to be on the color correction layer. We're going to take our brush, make sure the opacity is 100, the flow is 5. And turn off the high frequency. Now adjust your brush size, hold Alt to sample the color of the skin from... A desirable area like here and now paint on areas where the skin is having discoloration like these areas like this so what i try to do we are trying to bring back the right skin color to the image just like this so by brushing on the skin sampling from a neat area i'm brushing on the area i want to place the skin color we have easily changed the skin color of these areas that's looking bad to now look exactly like it should be now how to blend this you come to filter blow gaussian blow and then increase the blow to blend the brush stroke we've made so just like that you see the before and the after easy to fix this coloration the next thing is to blend the skin the fastest way to do that is to use the auto fix fx so just click on the auto fix fx play the action and voila it blends the skin texture while retaining the skin texture it smooths the skin while retaining the skin texture you can see the before and the after you see the before and the after the next thing we are going to do if you want to uh this skin colors here that are are not uh, matching like they are just inconsistent to fix that we are going to use the frequency separation action again so just click on the frequency separation action play the action uh, we are setting the radius let's leave the radius at default 6.8 6.4 and click on ok now on the low frequency turn off the high frequency now you take your mixer brush, make sure the setting is like this, uh, transparent, uh, clear stroke after each brush, which should be 30, load 30, mix 30, flow 30. And now I'm going to brush on the skin like this. So if you've been watching my tutorial, you see uh, every image have their own problem and their own uh, solution. So if you're finding it difficult to translate, the editing I'm doing to my own images to yours. You can check the link in the description to get access to my one-on-one -on -one retouching class where you get access to the all-in-all -all retouching essential. You get access to the all-in-all -all retouching essential that has the autofix, the autofix R, the autofix RSS, the smart retouch action, the frequency separation, enhanced skin texture, and all the essential retouching pack I use. You're going to get access to all of them. So that you can now edit faster and edit better using this pack also you can get access 
to my all in all pack where you see over 1000 backgrounds over 1000 background and background overlays that you can use to turn your boring studio portraits boring studio images to look more amazing you see the lots you have the lot specials you have the premium other lots the premium skin tone lot you see you have the amazing skin tone dark light wedding preset special how to use them everything is in this pack you can see over 100 lots are also available here with lightroom presets you can see the photoshop action i'm using all of them are right here you can get access to them and also you can see over 50 practice images you get access to all of them with a video course that is going to take you through how to use every single resources provided in this all in all pack so to get access to that check the link in the description to get access and also you have the opportunity to send me your image your own image i'm going to use your image to make a tutorial a personal tutorial for you a personalized one for you so that you save yourself the stress and the frustration of having difficulty with retouching you are going to retouch faster retouch better and you are going to do that under my guidance check the link in the description to get access to that right now so by mixing the skin color We've now blended the skin color and it's now looking amazing like this using the mixer brush too. So you can see how the before was. Here was the before a rough patch, not well looking skin. And you can see the stage we are right now. Everything is now blended and now looking better. Now, once you're done with this, you can go to the all in all pack and let me turn on the bottom mode in the all in all pack. You can now click on the auto pop and like that it's going to pop the colors and the luminosity of the image from this to this i'm going to take down your opacity all the way to 30 like this see the before and the after you can now come and create a color lookup you can create a color lookup low 3d lots you can apply a premium skin tone on your image any of your skin tone, you try them out, the one that works best. If you want a more muted look, or if you want this kind of look, just try any of these five lots. It's gonna give you a desirable, nice, and beautiful skin color. And if none of these lots here works for you, you can still go out there. You see there are other lots you can try out. Wow, this one is not looking nice at all. Let's try this. This one is looking warm and beautiful. And also, we have these uh, lots right here that you can still try. Any of them, there are so many of the lots. And if you try them and they give the results you want, and this is looking terrible, you keep them. And if the results they are giving you is not desirable, now try out another lot. Different lots works for different images. And you can see how we are finding it. Uh, it's taking time for us to find the lots that works for this image so you turn the, take down the opacity and also if none of the lots works there's something else in this pack it's called the magic skin tone uh the magic skin tone works like magic so it's right here the magic skin tone so this is the action right here so if you play the action it's going to create this uh action these layers you take your brush make sure the foreground is white Increase your opacity to over 60 or so. Now paint on the skin of your model. Just like this. Paint on the skin of your model. Now open the layers. You can change. You can turn off some of the adjustment. Like the shadow adjustment. You can turn it off. You can turn it on if it works for the image. Now you can change the uh, skin color using the skin tone swatch. And it's super easy to use this. So if you come to the options, you see the skin tone swatch, you see the light skin tone swatch, the neutral. Let's try the light skin tone swatch. You bring it all the way to your image like this. You double click, and now you select the skin tone you want for your image, and it's going to automatically apply that skin tone to that image. The effect is super amazing and desirable. It's just one click. With just one click. Get the skin tone you want this is beautiful you can now choose for also the shadow you see these watches are divided into the highlights and the shadow you see the shadow and the mid high so that you can use that to 
for your your skin and the result is superb once you are okay with the color you just delete the skin tone swatch you see the before and you see the after don't forget you can always adjust opacity you can always adjust opacity the eyes you can whiten the eye and it's very easy to do that it's the eye white play the action come right here take your brush make sure the foreground is white and paint on the eye area like this to whiten the eye you see in this tutorial i go through different techniques i'm just showing you that uh every image has their own problem and once the lots are not working on your image you get the magic skin tone it works perfectly it works perfectly it's super mature it gives you this pro skin tone look and you see it's not doing much it's just bringing the colors together and making them look more beautiful so right now finally we are going to create a stamp visible Control shift alternate e or command shift option e to create a stamp visible come to filter camera raw we are going to bring everything together in camera raw so we are going to increase the white uh, reduce the blacks increase the contrast tone down the temperature and also the tint tone down the temperature also inside here we can adjust the red and the orange it affects the skin tone so you can adjust that to make the skin tone look more beautiful and then you can also come if you zoom in like this and you notice any noise in your image to remove that noise you come to this section right here the detail section and then you you adjust don't overdo it if you do it if you do it too much it's going to make your skin look more too plastic so just do it a little bit like this just a little bit and also the color noise i'm going to remove any color noise in the image so here we are let's take a look at the before and the after see here was the before and here is the after don't forget to always adjust your opacity. So to get access to all this pack, check the link in the description right now. Like this video, subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips, tricks, and photography tutorials. Leave your feedback in the comment section. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.